Hey everyone. So I had my first uh, like intake counseling session today with um, the outpatient mental health service near me and it went really well I guess. Um, if you've been through those things before you know that they're very emotional. They can be very invasive and personal and um, this particular um, intake was one of the the more in-depth ones that I've personally been through and I had um, a very nice crisis worker which helps me like take off the mask like I like to say and like actually show my true colors and open up and not um, necessarily like hold back certain things so I felt very comfortable and open with her so um, I basically almost emptied her Kleenex box by the time I left so I guess it went pretty good because she managed to have me crying pretty well and um, we just talked about a lot of things that um, I haven't talked about in a long time so I'm a little tired right now from it but I'm feeling good because I feel lighter emotionally and I'm just um, happy that I was able to get some things off of my chest today I feel like um, since the, the mental, since I got out of the mental hospital, I've just been kind of like bottling up how I'm really feeling because I don't have anyone besides my husband really that I can talk to about, you know, things that I can't talk to about my husband. So, I don't know, I just like, um, I really want to work this year towards, um, just having a friendship, a real friendship, one where I'm not lying to the person about my sickness or how I really am, and, um, Overall, the session went really well, I felt, and so I'm going to be making another appointment to see a counselor again for an actual counseling session. This was just like an intake session, so basically um, during an intake session, the, the crisis worker will just sit with you, usually at a computer, so that they can record what you're saying, and um, they'll ask you um, exploratory questions, like, um, some of the ones that I can remember that were, um, were, like, sticking out of my mind right now, or one of them is, um, like, what are your current life stressors, um, how are you feeling about yourself? Um, are you currently feeling suicidal or having any suicidal thoughts? Um, tell me about any times in your life when you've felt emotionally, mentally, verbally or physically abused. Um, Yeah, so they just, like, ask a lot of, like, exploratory type questions that just really get you talking about your life and, um, usually traumatic events that have, um, obviously have a lasting effect on you, which is why you end up needing counseling in the first place. So they're very good at, like, um, if you find the right place, I mean, they're good at getting out what they need to out of you. And this place I found was uh, one of the better places that had um, a great intake. It was a really um, thorough, hour-long intake session, so 
it actually went over an hour because um, by the end of it I was fairly emotional and she said something to me like um, you know I just want to make sure you're you're okay before you leave and everything and I just kind of laughed at her and I was like, you know, you see me in like complete and utter mania mode, like that this would be nothing to you. You would have no problems with letting me leave your office like this. So, um, I'm disappointed that she's not going to be my counselor because she seemed really nice and she, uh, had a good way of like adding humor into it. Like, uh, she said something like, uh, don't feel bad, you know, a lot of my, the people that leave my office end up looking like Alice Cooper, so I thought that was pretty funny. And, um, yeah, she just made me feel comfortable and at ease and able to talk about my real issues, so, um, I told her everything. I told her the truth, and it wasn't pretty, and I probably cried forever today, but that river is gonna not be inside me tomorrow, if you know what I mean, like, um, I'm not gonna have that pressure built up inside me tomorrow. I hope I wake up feeling relieved, and, uh, maybe I'll get some sleep tonight, cause last night I, again, didn't get much sleep, and I was tossing and turning, and I remember I got up around like 3.40ish, and I took another sleeping pill because I was just like, I need to sleep, I need to sleep, I'm so tired. And I just like kept having all the these racing thoughts, irrational thoughts, and I couldn't turn them off. Normally, I eventually can. It takes hours, but normally I eventually can, and just last night, I couldn't do it. So, <clears throat> counseling session went good. I'm working on sleeping better. I am going to call my doctor's office tomorrow and make my follow-up appointment. I'm also going to call the minute the outpatient mental health services and get my first counseling appointment set up and I also have to call my psychiatrist and make a follow-up appointment with him as well so uh, I have a lot to do this week to set up appointments and stuff which is stressing me out. I wish there was an easier way to do all this. You always are like feeling like you have to jump through loops to go see doctors and waiting lists and referrals and new medications and give it time and blood tests and more tests and it just seems like this never ending cycle and I'm getting tired of it. I just want the solution already. I want to come to the end and feel good about where I am in my life and be able to concentrate on me. I'm 25 and I want to go back to school. I want to maybe get into nursing or I don't know, just do something where I'm helping people. I don't know, nurses work crazy hours anyway, so... I already have like weird sleeping patterns with the mania, so... I've been thinking about jobs that like fit with my illness and... how I can like prevent certain struggles and things like that. So I've been really thinking about that because I want to make sure that I do it right this time. I've already been to like a vocational kind of college once and it got me nowhere so I I want to do it right this time. I want to better myself and my family and I want to be able to provide a better life for my daughter. 
So until next time, stay strong and remember, you're never alone.